First of all, if we talk about SRM, we are talking about the idea of interfering into the climate system to counteract some of the adverse effects of uh, climate change um, by technological means. Those technology concepts are associated with um, severe side effects. If we talk about the most prominent example, the injection of sulfur into the stratosphere, we will probably, probably see changes in the stratospheric chemistry or changes in precipitation and of course the intended decrease of temperature. Well, talking about these potential side effects, there will probably be winners and losers when we actually think about managing the climate on a, on a global scale. And as an international lawyer, of course, I'm interested in asking questions like how could these potentially losing states be compensated? Can they ask for cessation of the activity? Um, or can states who engage in solar radiation management be held responsible? A little disclaimer ahead, we're talking about a very hypothetical scenario at this point in time. Um, when we look at international env environmental law, it all depends on the case at hand, so it has to be decided upon a case-by-case -case basis. So all we can do at this point in time is draw some very abstract, more general conclusions. First of all, the principle requires a clear-cut causal link between the activity, in our case the injection of sulfur in the stratosphere, and the risk of a specific damage. And this causal link might be easier to establish when we're talking about an oil spill or nuclear, um, a nuclear power plant accident, yet when it comes to an interference into the complex system climate, which at this point in time we still not fully understand, establishing such a causal link is very hard to establish. Furthermore, there are some questions that, that need to be raised why are we talking about SRM in the first place? Because we're trying to decrease some of the adverse impacts of climate change. So there might be some potential benefits of SRM that have to, have to be weighed against the side effects. Um, a task which is at this point in time, bearing in mind the fundamental uncertainties, um, still underlying this idea, a task which is very hard. So in a nutshell, a strict liability regime that requires um, no fault whatsoever, but purely a damage and a clear-cut link between the activity and the specific damage might be one way to compensate potential lo losers of um, an SRM deployment, a hypothetical SRM deployment, but still I don't think this is sufficient to cover all the governance problems we're facing at all. What we should be aware of is the climate of cooperation that is the fundament of international environmental law, which argues against a unilateral or multilateral engagement in this highly diverse topic of manipulating the climate system. <laughs>